Welcome viewers click the red button to subscribe and press bell icon to get all updates. On Wednesday, Department of Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson arrived in Baltimore to attend meetings and assist with the local public housing crisis. However, his good intentions were met with protests. On Thursday, Carson was at the school for a housing fair, touring booths about various programs and posing for pictures. After Carson, surrounded by other officials and Secret Service agents, heard about the Sustainable Resource Center's program to teach children about lead poisoning, as well as its mascot, Lead Yeti, a woman in purple scrubs confronted him holding a sign that read HUD plus Hopkins promote housing segregation. It was hard to hear their exchange over the sound of a DJ, but at one point the woman could be heard saying, stop telling poor people that they should be comfortable without affordable housing. Carson appeared to attempt to engage the woman, but she walked away. Inside the gymnasium, the housing secretary circled the room and talked with representatives from Habitat for Humanity, the University of Maryland, United Healthcare Community Plan, and other organizations. Near the end of his route, he was met by the phone camera of activist Dwayne Shorty Davis, who asked if Carson remembered him from several catering gigs. He didn't. Davis offered a welcome back to Baltimore and a simple plea, we need some help with homelessness. Carson went back outside to continue his tour, making his way toward a mobile health care center set up by Kaiser Permanente. On the sidewalk holding signs were Jeff Singer and Lauren Siegel, of Cash, City Advocates in Solidarity with the Homeless, and four or five other demonstrators. Support, Don't Destroy, Public Housing. More Money for HUD. Singer's sign read. Once Carson whizzed by, Singer had a word with Carol Payne, Baltimore's field office director for HUD. What they're doing to public housing's terrible, he told her.